I'm going to begin, I actually start with you, Pete, because I'm, I'm not going to say it's a bone to pick of you as such, but I was thinking about this earlier, and I think no human in the world has made me cry more than you've made me cry. I've actually, <laughs> um, <laughs> you have this magic touch. Um, but no, and I, I wondered if just, just to, 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 to both of you, really, but I will start with you, Pete, just when you watch this back, because it is such a, a profoundly moving uh, experience, as is, you know, you know, um, up as well and, and, and inside out. Do you can you do you get caught up emotionally in your own projects when you watch back this movie? Do you are you able to cry like I ball my eyes out or is, is it quite hard when you're so involved? Well, first of all, thank you. I mean, that's that's our goal, <laughs> right, is to get into people's. Uh, hearts and make them feel a little bit so that's that's good to hear that it, that is working in your case anyway um I, I you know what's funny is dana and i watched this movie like every day for four years in some form and there are days when you feel it intensely and then the next day you're like i didn't feel that at all what happened what what changed what did we we broke something and sometimes you did break something and other times it's just because you're so familiar with it so it's it's a really tricky thing to be objective as you as you go through a four-year process like this I know. I say it's such a, a glorious story and so life-affirming i was just wondering how important a film like this is right now because i think it's very it's, it's true of so much of the world that you know a lot of our lives aren't as normal as they usually are but but there are still small beautiful moments in every all of our lives be it just walking out into go walking past the, the river or just taking a going to meet a friend for a, a socially distanced coffee we are still experiencing small moments that still mean a lot and, and this film kind of celebrates those moments doesn't it yeah i think four years ago when we started we clearly had no idea what our future held um so it's it's pretty timely that we all um, are having those moments of just like eating a piece of pizza or talking to a friend. And so the themes definitely, I think, are heightened right now. So I think we all agree that we need to get the film out there. Um, so yeah, absolutely. I mean, who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say as well that I don't think I've ever seen pizza look as appetizing as you guys make it look. Oh yeah. <laughs> those those um, are amazing. And Pete, I mean, there are so many um, layers and, and kind of metaphors and everything in, in, in this movie. It's a real kind of existential sort of take on humanity. Um, I don't know, is it almost like a puzzle to put together? And do you find the kind of storyboarding, uh, the process of kind of piecing this story together and coming up with the ideas, the more challenging part or the most kind of fun and exciting? Both, both. I mean, it's at one point, at, well, it's, it's frustrating and nerve-wracking and infuriating and also the great joy of it because you don't know what's right or wrong you don't know what's going to work you have opinions you think you do and then they're wrong or they're confirmed and and so it's it's uh, uh, the way that 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 i've worked is is you know you take your best guess and you put it up there and then you have this we have a process at pixar where we're able to Put something up and respond and change it again and again so what you're seeing is probably what in our sixth or seventh version of the film um yeah. not entirely but you know some major blow-ups of things um and that's that's the only way <laughs> that's the way we've made our film since toy story um and it's not efficient it's probably not ideal i'd much rather be a genius and have it all like it's in my head and i just make it but that's not the way unfortunately not the way it works I I've heard Pete say multiple times, I think he enjoys the tor the torture of the story process. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, once we, once we have it all figured out, it's, you know, it goes too smoothly, so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> gotta blow something up. <laughs> and, and, and Dana, I was wondering too about, I just want to speak quickly about Jamie Foxx because he's got such a beautiful kind of musicality to his voice anyway. I mean, I, I could, I'd love to listen to him sort of read audio books. So a bit to, in this instance, I just wondered when, how early on he came on board because it's such perfect casting for this role. Yeah, I mean, I think we feel the same way because he's, he's like one of the funniest people we've ever been around. Um, he's a musician. He's an incredible pianist, actually. Um, and he's just an amazing dramatic actor. So when we were thinking about the casting of Joe, I mean, he was, he was at the top of the list from the very beginning. So we were really lucky that he, um, from the first phone call, was excited and interested. I'd say we probably figured out his casting a year and a half into the project. We, I, I don't. He, I mean, he was definitely the first person we cast for sure. 
Yeah, and, and Pete, I mean, it's such a visually expressive movie because obviously when you when you take a story and remove it from, from planet Earth, it gives you this kind of freedom to be so creative and resourceful with the imagery. I just wondered about how much fun you had with, with that side of things because it was some of the characters almost looked like Picasso had drawn them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. And and the idea that we got to do stuff that we had never done before and didn't know how to do. And, um, you know, as soon as you take on something as abstract as a soul, you're going to have to make it up. And and that was the fun, but also the challenge of it. Because again, you don't know, like, is that right? Is that, you know, in, in Bugs Life or something, you can say, oh, yeah, that's a ladybug. And I recognize it as a ladybug here. Uh, we were just kind of going off our guts. And, um, and yet, yeah, like you say, that was the that was the real joy of of exploring all of these amazing, talented people that we get to work with. I think really contributed so much. Yeah. So my, my final question, Dana, is for you. I was just wondering because on that note, I mean, it is a visually striking movie, so vibrant. And I was very fortunate enough yesterday to to see it on the big screen. I just wondered about the kind of from the the filmmakers' points of view about about obviously it's been released on on Disney Plus, and in some ways that's an incredibly accessible and brilliant way to reach everyone's homes especially on christmas day it's a great film to watch round all round sort of sat around with the family but at the same time there's a real commun communal sort of experience going to see the new pixar in, in the cinemas with your family i just wondered how you guys feel about the the, the, the news that it will be released on, on disney plus instead of getting a theatrical yeah i mean i think we're still kind of processing it i think we agree that it's like it's a timely film and we need to we need people to see it safely so i think we all think we're, it's the it's the best choice but it, it was hard we we finaled we looked at every single frame and shot up on the big screen in all its glory and then you know listen to the the sound um you know in the dolby screening room and what like the best of the best so it's like it, it's, it is a bit of a gut punch because that's how we envisioned it but and I love the communal experience of the theater as well. So I think we all look forward to when it's safe to go back to the theaters and experience that. Yeah, yeah. well, I'll be watching it on Christmas Day again. Uh, thank yeah. you so much for your time today, guys. Uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Right, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!